for me, I think success is when you know that you're being true and creating your uh, vision. And then when you're doing that well, it doesn't really matter if you get paid or not or who you're doing it for. So I'd say it's different for everybody, but what's important is to have a clear idea of what your goals are and what success means to you. I think, uh, like most people, I started out drawing my favorite comic book characters and stuff. Copying the masters. I really enjoy this kind of stuff, painting out outdoors, creating large scale pieces, you know, and I just hope to be able to get, uh, you know, some form of success for my own vision and concepts, you know, not just always designing something for a client's needs, but be able to create some public art, you know, where I'm the, the chief of creative and uh, can dictate exactly like how things look or the way things will be. The, you know, the constructive criticism that's not positive is generally more valuable because it's not like a compliment or um, a personal thing. It's like arbitrary or, you know, based off their education of the subject. And it's worth listening. And so you kind of like, you know, gotta, I think if you want to always be improving as an artist, you gotta develop thick skin so you can always take criticism and move on. say is you know make your own route whatever it is and I think just take the time to figure out what it is you enjoy and love doing and and then you know pursue that to the fullest and that's like a challenge and something that changes in your life and will be difficult or easier at certain times but it's like the consistency of never losing vision is I think a, a trait of like successful artists. <laughs> 